So, we're back today. It's just me and Mel today. Dean fucking hurt his back a bit yesterday on the mevies. So, cutting all this, all this fish screen off. This is what we've got to do. I should book some in for this really, but I'm not bothered. Fucking uh, God, it's just get rid of it. So, take all this out. That says, you know, four, 400 drop down. Do all that along there. We've got to set two sticks up either side. We'll run this this back corner in. Obviously, that's what we got done yesterday, which you all know. Uh, Mel's just uncovering that wall, giving it a nice little bit of a point, point up over there. So then we'll set some stands up. I'm only working off one, two, three, four stands today. Get this phone up full ice and we'll cover this money, but I want a steady on. Toolbox here, darling. Just doing a bit of YouTubing. Alright, I'll crack on. Happy days! Oh yeah. It's half ten, you reckon? So, um Got three course in on this, we set out, got Mel tidied up over there. We're all set out, we gobbo needed knocking up, so I've got to knock that up in a minute. Quarter. Is it quarter to eleven? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Okay, no, I ain't got much done, but we're alright. Smashing it there, we'll, I'll smash we this. Did get you late though? Yeah. We didn't get here till half eight and then we had breakfast. Yeah, so. so we didn't actually get on after nine. After nine brickies. So I'll set the tripod up for a bit of a time lapse on this, I'm liking oh. time lapses. And then I've got some more footage from me building that to do on head cam. Right. <laughs> hey guys, Harry here, and uh, we're back with another Brick Lane vlog. So, uh, this is just me running in after that last clip you saw. Basically, um, I was going to do a time lapse on my phone, uh, like the last one was, but then I decided to use my. my uh, my GoPro, well, my uh, Casso action cam, um, but I didn't have it set up in time lapse mode, so I've got to basically speed all the footage up. And basically, all the footage that you see on the time lapse is all eight times speed. So, for instance, that bot corner took me but was about an hour long clip, so it took me an hour to build, sped up eight times, obviously into like a six minute clip. So, if you like the time lapses and the sort of the check ins I'm trying to do. Um, it's a bit more fun for me to do as well because I don't have to sit yabbering on for about 30-40 minutes on a video uh, and I, f I find it makes the videos a bit better, you know, um, a lot of guys have do the do the time lapse sort of thing now and sort of the check-ins on site, I know it's basically all, all good YouTubers do it, I'm just shit, so I, uh, I've been the one with the just <laughs> droney, droney voiceovers um, but yeah, you can hear them, you know, even this is from today, this is uh, Thursday's Thursday's footage, obviously the day I'm recording this. So as you can hear, you know, I was back this whole day, you know, I'm, I'm a bit full of it, really, full of cold. Uh, got over that little flu bout I had, I only had to have a day off, but um, as you can see, even with, you know, feeling rough, if you're relaxed enough, you've got the right setup organised, um... As you can see with profile setup I have, I've got, you know, you can even have an easy day, no, you know, come what may. I know we're a bit spoiled with any mix at the moment. We've got a tub sat every night waiting for the following morning. Um, I've thought about getting a paddle mixer for for the for the ready mix. What a guy, but one of the one of the guys who watches me, uh, I forgot his name. Uh, <laughs> mentioned it to me uh you know m months ago when i first started this job and i said it was ready mix he recommended a panel mixer and i didn't realize how expensive they were they're about 300 quid so if i have a good week or you know <laughs> if i have a good couple of weeks i might end up getting one i've got a new skill saw by dewalt um so i've uh you'll see me using that in a few weeks um but once I've uh, once I, once I've got some use out of that, and uh, I'm you know I try to limit my tool buying you know tool you you know sort of buying frenzy. I tend to limit myself for you know to one every few months because it's the dear bits of kit you know skill saw with two hundred odd quid. If I end up getting a few more batteries, that's another hundred quid. So I try not to spend too much on tools. Cause at the end of the day, it's work. You know, I know it's a business. You know, obviously, us being all self-employed, but. 
it's it's one of them. You know, I don't like to get carried away. You can do it all. So in maybe a week or two's time, uh, sorry, maybe in a month or two's time, I might have a look into getting one. Um, but it is winter, so it's one of them where how often are you really going to be wanting to use it when it's fucking, you know, you're only getting fucking three days in anyway. So I don't know. I, w- I might want to get one, but watch me buy one and they go back to go on to a using a silo. So, um, and I also want to test one out for actual mixing gobbo because I've never seen anyone actually use a paddle mixer for mixing, you know, knocking ready mix up in a tub, obviously. So I'd like to borrow one or maybe even hire one for, you know, 20, 30 quid or whatever, how much it costs for a paddle mixer. I might hire one for a day and see how good it gets the gobbo and then see if it's worth investing that two or 300, 400 quid into one because uh, I'd have to get a battery powered one. And then it's more kit to carry, obviously, which with two of us labouring, like most of the time, it's no issue. There's plenty of hands to carry everything. Um, but, yeah, I've, 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 uh, I hope Dean's back, you know, is uh, better because, we, we, to be honest, we do need him. It would be nice having him in today. Apart from me feeling like pure dog shit, um, you know, we'd have got a bit more, quite a bit more done because there'd been an extra two trials on the line. As you can see, Mel... Uh, was sort of doing all the tidying up from the previous day because we tend to just sort of leave a lot of the tidying for the morning and then she was behind the camera for uh, about 10 or 15 minutes here just holding it because you could see it was blowing a gale it's a good job I want doing block work first or even you know high up on the brickwork because that is one of the reasons I'm doing this brickwork first is you just eliminate another factor you know um, obviously we drop zone now it's not so much of an issue with drop-ins and stuff. So it doesn't matter if you do block work or brick work first. And you've seen on that last time lapse from yesterday, me with a little joint trim and uh, periodically every course pointing the back. You know, it's an extra minute or two, uh, you know, it's an extra minute, you know, every course that you've got to spend stroking your joint over the back. But I find the trade-off doing that as opposed to building your block work first is, is, is a lot. I'd rather just do that because... You know, I never have any worries now about what work blowing over, which it's the worst thing when we did them jack walls last week on the Friday. Uh, I was having to prop them up with fucking scaffold boards. They've moved a few mil. It's, you know, some some parts at Gable are five mil out of plumb, uh, at part of party wall are five mil out of plumb. And that's because we took it up in the wind. We took it in one go when we shouldn't have really. So I think in future I'm going to still set one course and maybe take it up six in one go because it might avoid that a uh, little bit of, you know, leaning or wobbling, you know, if, you know, if you've compared to taking it in full height. So that's what I might do next time on the middle walls. Um, obviously this time you've seen on my last block time lapse, I did a bit of toothing. Um, and the main reason is I leave that, bot- I set that bottom block obviously to my... Uh, obviously to my foot to my gauge uh, to where i'm setting my door at you know about 20 20 mil 15 25 mil back now that 20 mil back from uh, the brickwork it's normally a good you know good to leave it um uh, but then obviously i drill that first cell con and put a little steel up a little uh, aluminium profile up each reveal it just makes building them uh, them reveals and with the you know like the built-in reveals because we don't have reveal blocks it makes it so much easier um, because you've got a you've got like a two ten piece, uh, and then you've got a like a eighty ninety mil piece uh, at the at the back. So it just stops with a little profile up. It stops that that two ten cockling about, and obviously with your line running through, then it's no uh, no issue at all. So I'm going to be doing that um, while building my centre in one go. So when I get to me to my centre pillars of take the i probably will do about five course of block first uh front and back obviously while setting that first course on the middle walls because i found last time it was just a lot easier so because it just gives you your pillars a lot more stability like that um and i'll make sure i set out you know me with my white my white thermal light work right to my middle wall so i've not got a shock ice slab up each side of the middle wall so even though it's tied in, it just don't look as it don't look as appealing. You know, a big twenty thirty mil fucking super chalk ice. So um, and have a nice tight joint there as well. 
Um, also, um, after doing this big corner today, I, um, I'll be doing the same the next time. Check the other side up, basically the other half of the gable up in one go. Um, there's no windows on the front uh, pillars. Obviously, I'm doing it in a C-shaped back pillar and front pillar as well. Uh, there's only a little 685 opening window at each size, two 685 windows. Um, so that'll be a doddle. I'll build that all in one go when I build the front as well. So uh, it'll be back up in one, it'll be basically gave up again. Uh, hopefully tomorrow, because everything's set up, I want to get, my goal is, if I'm feeling pretty good, rest at Gable up with Mel, because uh, I don't know if Dean will be back in. Um, and then bot, work, bot corner up nine course and then simulate the same at the other side. I might not get, I might just take, I might not get the whole um, two nine course bot corners up, but uh, I'll try my best. Um, I've not been using the skill saw as well because I find sometimes it doesn't, you can just get as good effect with the brick hammer and bolster, especially on the 440s. Uh, not so much on the on the 630 ones you know i'm in balls to snap some in half every day at week so but on these 440s because of the key and groove the key grooves i've got on the front they're a bit the bit tend to break a bit a bit better than uh, uh than just a regular cellcon and the uh the skill saw it belts out a lot of dust in the moment with my chest i'm not i don't need any more dust than what <laughs> than what's in the air normally on site so when i got this cold i'll go back to use it still saw uh skill saw and then yeah, that'll be that'll be good. Um, but yeah, uh, so you know, hopefully, Gable up tomorrow. Two nine course block corners or something close to, and then um, next week on Monday, I'll run both Gables are block working, and that obviously should be enough uh, easily to cover the cover basically the wages for that day, and then day after that, five course a block at front five course of block at back and the middle wall set out and i'll be lucky if i get that done um because it's a mess it's, it's messing about you know and then then after that you know so that's two days monday tuesday and then front a day you know back a day and then a day for middle walls again um you know that leaves us probably five more days left on this, uh, depending if I'm one on one, you know, if I'm if I'm two one and two, we probably be four days, you know, next week. So then we'll be ready for another another plot. I think there'll be some more plots ready by then. Um, but yeah, that's that's the plan. That's how quick you got to get these boxes up. So I've done four days so far this week, obviously included tomorrow, and then I'll be doing four days next week. So that's like an eight day build, and um, that keeps. That keeps easily. That makes me a bit more than I make. I've made a bit more than day work if I get it done in eight days. Um, mixing between a one and two gang and a one and one, you know. So that's sort of the program I've set out for myself. Um, so yeah, just giving you a bit of an idea about how I'm going to attempt this one. This one's a lot easier than the last, just because there's no no trays. That's going to save us fucking save us hours, uh, because the last one took me, I think it took me like ten days. I think anyway, I know it took me close to ten days or nine days. I think three one week, three another, three another. Yeah, I think nine and a half days it took me last one. So if I can shave a day and a half off this one, um, obviously the, the gang sizes vary. Obviously every week depending on who's in, um, but obviously I know it's 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 not always great. I, this is what comes to my next topic. Obviously we chested the best, so I'm going to try and limit my voice over action, um, but incentives for you know people to get into brick lane it's not actually that well paid it's only well paid for a, a, you know a select few and it takes 10 years experience to really see if you know fruition um in your trade because i know maybe after six years i was starting to earn sort of you know decent money but i did four year i did you know two years at college three year apprenticeship a year out of my time on day work, you know, so it's like six years right there, you know, without, you know, six or seven years without earning, you know, basically earning minimum wage or less. 
so you know that's for a you know coming up as a teenager uh you know into my 20s but you know for someone like Dean getting into it for the first time it's not always appealing especially in winter when you're losing days it's not always it's not always great but you've got to have a different outlook mentality on on uh on site work or even brick lane in general you've got to have a more relaxed mentality you know the big thing i like to say to people as well with as being a laborer you haven't got to take on any of the stress of the bricklayer you know if a gaffer comes up checking my brickwork or whatever it, just point to me you know you point you, you've no no responsibility there you've got to nothing to worry about the build only where if the bricks and blocks are stacked in the right place and if the you know guy you're working with is decent he'll uh he'll make sure that you know you don't go far wrong which is you know what you want and uh you've got to just you know i, th I think i think the beginning of brick lane takes a lot of time learning it's it's difficult you know working in the weather but this is a pro for me i love being outside i love being in um you know the fresh air all day no no one breathing down my neck really you know you get an odd gaffer you're coming down with level nine again and uh, you know so keeping tidy but there's nothing compared to it like an office environment or a factory environment or a you know um somewhere where you have like an active team leader with you all you know 24 7 um so yeah, it has its pros and its cons. It, it, it takes a, a special sort of person to want to work on a site, you know, work with, work in a gang, and you got to have the right mentality towards it. That in winter takes you know it takes a lot out of you, but Mel's enduring it. Um, and for what I can gather, Dean is you know. So hopefully everyone everyone uh, you know sticks it out, and you know everyone gets laying more and start seeing this you know because I'm not against raising anyone's money if they start earning it themselves you know if, if, if they're laying enough bricks to where we're putting numbers down far above what i do um with me just laying there's definitely um wage increase incentives uh so you know if i hope everyone's I hope the gang sticks together enough uh to get to that point because then it would um it, be, it benefits everyone then you know what i mean and then I get to see a little bit of, you know, a little bit of, you know, all the time and effort I've put into people pay off, you know. So that's that's the goal at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there slowly. I'm, you know, I enjoy the what I enjoyed it too with the missus, you know, one on one. It's just more. There's less to think about, you know, you know. But um, I would have put you on a time lapse now. Um, it's about an hour and a half, I reckon, worth a, or about an hour worth of foot, probably an hour and a half worth of footage. You'll see me take this, uh, this, this, this up for light, and um, yeah, uh, I hope you enjoy. I'll check in again uh, with me on the on the. You'll see me on the on the job in the next uh, clip after the time lapse. Um, but if I don't speak to you before, then um, thanks a lot for sticking around, and uh, I'll see you in the next clip. So we're having a snap now. Me gel me hair up for for the vlog. Boom! Get ready up higher the higher the hair, the more bricks you can make. Now, um, so got nine course on that up to six, seven, five banding it banding height. Got us banders set on. Uh, we didn't get what time did we get started, Mel? Half half nine. About half nine, yeah. Started about half nine. We had to clean up from previous day. Cobbo is always shit, so we're gonna load, put like a gallon of water into that. I'm thinking of getting one of those paddle mixers, so we don't, so I don't have to mix it with elbow, pure elbow grease. So we're gonna go out now, it's just gone half 12, 35 minutes past. I'll probably work well quarter to four today, which does two. We'll get that big corner up, get set up for tomorrow, I think. Um, we'll see. Get some more gobble over now and should get us through to end of day. What are you doing after snap? You're pointing. Sit there, look pretty. Yeah. Wear it for me. Hello to my mate Bruce. Go say Bruce.
we got done it and for light corner he's brushing off it morning but all set up over there ready to go so thanks a lot for watching guys hope you've enjoyed that uh, sort of more vlog style video um, we're not finished at quarter to four which is pretty good considering what time we started probably roughly 550 500, 500 bricks today um, so yeah uh, you can see, you can take these concretes up full height, even with the, um, you know, even with in winter. And just gotta keep an eye on them. I'll do a few more videos with some tips about them and stuff, and sort of on the job sort of situations. If you enjoy the videos, hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, tune in for tomorrow's vlog. See you in the next one.